Hello. I'd like to make a video today on math concepts that are foundational. Now, if we were to look at basic math, we know our times tables, and most people know their times tables um, from 1 to 10. And I know my times table is probably to 100, but it's not that I can just run through them all. I probably can, but it's not important. But when I see a number, I know how it, it works. Okay. So, but let me just use an example here of the ones that you know, your times table. So if you have 9 times 6, um, 8 times 2, let's do 2 times 7, 5 times 4, and let's go 7 times 9 and one more for space we'll go up here and we'll go 4 times 3 and then down here we'll go um, well we won't do 1 let's just don't want a 12 what the heck even though that's a double number we kind of cheated okay okay if we were to look at these numbers and we again we learn our times tables when we're young okay and a lot of times people say you know things were much easier and then they got harder okay we'll see about that so we know that four times three is twelve it's easy right we know that nine times six is uh, fifty four we know that this is uh, sixteen we know that this is uh, 14. We know that this is 20. We know this was 63. And we also know that this was 48. Okay. So, we, we kind of learned that. And then they, they start talking about uh, concepts. Now, if we conceptualize things, let's go back to this first one. When it comes to um, 4 times 3 is 12, you can go either 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, that's 4 times, or you go 4, 8, 12, 3 times. So it's there. We understand how that works. We know that when you reduce this by 1, it's going to be a 5, and then 5 and what makes 9? 4. Okay. We know that um, the doubling effect of a number, okay, it's 8 times 2 is 16, okay? Or since this is 2 less than 10, you can go 20 take away 4, and it's, it's 16. Any way you want to see it. Again, same thing here. We know that doubling effect of... 7 is 14, okay, so it's easy. We know that um, half, half of, half of 4 is 2 and a 0, it's easy. Or just counting it out, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 5 times, it's there. Again, this was a 9, so we went reduce by 1 and then make it to a 9 and then here this was a double number and we could do a lot of stuff and we, we've already just discovered how this works um, from my previous videos on 12s you could do it many ways you could look at um, 48 okay for 12 in this way okay you would uh, you would take this number here and you basically would uh, double it okay now I'm sorry not 48 it's it's um it's four excuse me wrote down the wrong thing but we didn't want to mess with it up just leave it at that okay it's four times 12 okay it's the answer is 48 what you would do is you would uh, double this number to eight okay 
and then you would just take the number again because there's nothing here so you would take nothing plus four is four or you could go you could go um, four and double it to eight and put it right there so it's going to be 48 so it works it's very simple um, when it comes to doing 12s okay so that's basically what that is all about but again the purpose of my video is not really to do double numbers it's not that important okay and there what you can do if you were if you really want to make it difficult you simply go 10 times 4 is 40 and then 2 times 4 is 8 so it's going to be 48 so I mean, there's, there's many ways to, to get the number you want it's not my purpose but what I want to show you is how you could use the concept of breaking numbers down to do seemingly hard math, um, mathematical calculations. So let me make some room here. And I'll turn it this way. Give an example. Let's say we wanted to do this. Let's say you want to do 9, 2, eight four six times seven okay you want to do that and you say you say okay i can break this down figure it out what you want to do is you want to understand the concept of every number and you want to just line it up so here's how you do it watch you go nine times seven is 63 okay 2 times 7 is 14 so you put the 14 right here 8 times 7 is 56 4 times 7 is 20 excuse me is 28 okay and 6 times 7 is 42. And then you put a line right here. And you simply just add it up. So you've got 2. This is a 12. 1 is carried. So that's going to be a 9. This is a 9. This is a 4. And you got a 6. And that's your answer. Okay. Again, it's, it's not sexy. Um, it's not really whimsical. Yeah. It's just practical. You know that each number gives you a certain answer. And you add it up. And now what you really have here, of course, in essence, is you've got all of these zeros that have a place in the equation. You see, but the the point is, it doesn't matter where I place it here. If, if there's if there's more or less, okay. I think there's maybe uh, another one over here. Okay. It really doesn't make any difference. The point is that th the answer is about the place that it occupies in the equation. Okay, so we'll do another one over here. And we'll do the exact same thing and you'll see how this works again we can think number we want because we know our times tables okay it doesn't matter what number we use okay we're using nine this time okay now i've shown on my other videos how i can break this number down and first of all i'm going to I'm going to do it this way, and then I'll show it, it the other way, okay? Because, again, there are people who are really good at, at doing um, numbers. And then you get impressed, and you go, oh, wow, you know, I have to be as good as they are. And, but it's not that important. When it comes to doing math, you want to make sure you have the right answer. You don't have to be... You know, like Rain Man or, or someone who, uh, or Scott Flanberger, any of these guys you see, 
We're really good at doing math. Let's just use the concept. Okay. So we again we know that this is a 72. We know that this is an 81. We know that this is a 63. We know that this is a 54. We know that this is an 18. And we know that this is a 0, 9. Okay? That's the answer right there. It's not 9, it's a 0, 9. 0 is a real number. So then, once we have space here, okay? Again, we just simply can just do from here. So we got a, a 9, an 8, got a 5, we've got an 8, we've got a 7, we've got a 0, and we've got an 8. And that's the answer, okay? Now, if we were doing it the other way I showed in my past video, again, we would say uh, 1 and what makes 10? It's 9. Okay. 7 and 1 is 8. 3 and 2 is 5. Okay. Um, 2 and 6 is 8. 0 and 7 is 7. And 1 and 9 is 10. Carry. Reduce it by 1, but there's a 0 there. There's a 1 there. So we'll just put in the 8. And you can see it's the exact same number. Okay. This 9 should be up here. Okay. The 9's up here. So it's in the right spot. But it's the exact same number. So. You, you can learn this technique I showed, and, and it, but it doesn't take much longer to just do it this way. You see, anybody doesn't have to be a you know a, a quote unquote math genius. It's nice to be able to do things like this and get your answer, but it's better to be able to really understand that you have it already in your mind when you learn math. You're learning it for a purpose. And it's not about doing it quickly. People always, you know, want to do things fast. I'd rather do it properly. Because not everybody has the ability to do things fast. Some numbers you, you simply know. And a lot of times when you see these, these people who do mental math, they have a system, which does work, and they are, they are intelligent. But a lot of times, they've done it so many times, they actually memorize the answers. So they can just get them that quickly. It's not about, you know, showing off. It's about putting down the proper answer. So when you do this, you understand that this is an option you have. If you get a number which is really big, even if it was a, a double number, say, say it was um, 92 times something, you can just do it twice. Okay. Again, there are ways that even I teach that show how you can break a number down in groups. It's fine. But all I'm saying to you is that when the chips are down, when when you just you know you're you're out of options, you want to fall back on your education. This this you should have learned, you know, from uh, first to third grade. It's it's not that hard to learn because you don't use it. It kind of falls to the wayside. So I think you, again, you can agree that this was a good technique. It's a good technique. It may, it may be impressive. And I do want you to learn these things. But while you're trying to get there, utilize your basic, you know, elementary math techniques that will serve you right. These are foundational. These are foundational. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Again, please comment, like, subscribe, share, and watch the video over and over again. Knowledge is accumulative. If you just try to do something once, you're going to lose it. We forget things 
very quickly. So it's important to go over them again. Make sure you understand it. And then make schedule to come back and and, re, and really um, define it, refine it, um, make it something that is really good for you. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.